Hey everybody, this is my pea puffer tank and recently I purchased some blue green slime stain remover and I was going to use it to work on one of my tanks in the basement but it would have taken the entire container of stain remover medication if you will and I don't know how much good it would do in the tank I had actually purchased it for so I think what I'm going to do is use it for my black ghost knife fish tank in the basement which is about a 40 gallon tank well it is a 40 gallon tank but it has about 40 gallons of water in it a little less than that and that will allow me to use some in there and some in here uh, this tank had the cyanobacteria in it and when I had the rubber lip pleco in here it was doing a really good job of keeping everything clean and now you can see that the rubber lip is no longer with us I am getting a lot of green growth of that cyanobacteria again. You can see that really bright green stuff growing in the plants up here. So I'm actually going to remove those plants altogether. Um, no sense in using up more of the meds than I need to to kill uh, the cyanobacteria when I can simply remove that from the tank. But I do want some floating plants in this tank, and if I actually were to do the treatment of the tank and then bring some more plants in from another tank, I'd probably just be reintroducing the cyanobacteria into the tank again. So what I'm probably going to wind up doing is as I get it set up to treat, I will pull these plants out, but I'll find some smaller plants in the basement that don't have any of the cyanobacteria growing on it, or don't have much and I'll go ahead and put them in the tank while it's being treated and that way any that's on there will be killed during the treatment and the plants will be able to continue growing uh, in the tank without me reintroducing anything new after we've got it set up. So I need to get an air stone in here and the medication itself is just a powder you mix up you know you measure according to how much water you're treating and then you mix it up and pour it in it's no big deal I don't need to get any of that on video it does uh, the process does use up a lot of oxygen out of the tank and it is vital to put an air stone in the tank while you're doing this I will probably also leave the water level just a little bit low so as it comes out of the filter over here it will uh, I'll get a little bit of a waterfall effect and that will further aerate the tank or give me a uh, better gas exchange. I've also got a filter in the basement that I am beginning to cycle in. I'm using another tank to just let it sit down there and cycle and when that filter is ready I'm going to put it on this tank because the filter on this tank is actually starting to rattle and make a little bit of noise and it's kind of obnoxious so it's time to upgrade my filter in this tank. Um, other than that Oh, I did find out something exciting and new the other day. I noticed some aggression between two of them in here. And when I looked a little more closely to see what was going on, I found out that I do have two males and two females. It's kind of hard to tell because every time I get close to the edge of the tank or close to the glass to see them, they swim up and you can't really see their bellies. And of course, my camera's having a hell of a time figuring out what it's trying to focus on here. These things swim around like little bumblebees. But I do definitely have two males and two females now, so it should be interesting to see if they don't separate themselves out into pairs or how they sort that out. I'm not sure. Of course, when I'm standing here in front of the tank trying to shoot video, they're all just swimming right up in front of the glass. Uh, it's very difficult to get these guys doing their thing naturally without um, interrupting them. I guess maybe I could set up the camera and leave the room, and then you could just watch for a few minutes and let them do their things while I'm not in the room. Anyway, this is just a little update video. This is what the tank looks like right now. Uh, I am going to get the treatment set up. We're not going to do a before and after anything. It takes a few days to do the treatment. I just wanted to give a little bit of a look at the tank and a little bit of a discussion of what's going to be going on. So hopefully in a day or two we'll be able to shoot another video and the tank will look nice and clean and we'll be all done. So make sure you subscribe. That way you won't miss the... Uh, update video on this tank or any of the other stuff I've got going on. Remember, this is my pea puffer tank. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you real soon on the next one.